RMH community. I'm honored to be speaking to you as the Class of 2020 Valedictorian. For those of you who don't know me, hi, I'm Maya. You may have seen me around campus walking really fast, wearing all black with sunglasses on and headphones in at all times. The look is a bit incognito, but I've never really liked attention, so making this speech even through video is a challenge. Bear with me. I didn't anticipate giving a speech to the entire school, and I never could have imagined that it would be through a screen. However, current global circumstances have taught us that nothing is ever exactly what you expect. As someone who is young and relatively healthy, I am very fortunate during this time. However, when the virus spread first started to escalate in the United States, I was greeted by my good old friend, existential dread. If I don't make it out of this alive, if I don't make it past this year, what was the point of all my stress over college and GPA? What did that accomplish? It's not like it helped anybody else, and did it really make me happy? This speech is not going to focus on the coronavirus, but I would like to talk about impermanence and uncertainty. Because we have all recently learned that everything you assume is going to happen in your future is not guaranteed. This past fall, I was inundated with questions and anxiety, as I'm sure many of you were too. The stress of my academic workload and the college process exacerbated the true source of my unhappiness, looking to the future. Now, uncertainty has always been challenging for me, and thinking about college forced me to face the uncertainty of my future head on. It was more than just, where will I go next year? I started to wonder, what will I major in? Are there subjects that I'm passionate about or just subjects that I'm good at? What do I wanna do with my life? What is my purpose? Why am I here? And at this point, I was getting disturbingly close to the Hume One questions. And I started thinking to myself, oh God, not again. It's the spring of 2020 and I'm back where I started in freshman year. Now, I've always been someone who likes to have a plan. And up until this point, my plan was to focus on academics, get a degree in some arbitrary STEM field, and support my parents in retirement and my sister as she pursues her dreams of becoming a Broadway star. Stability and security were my focuses. And now we know that stability and security are myths, and everything you think you know about how society works and what the future holds can be flipped on its head. And despite my background as a circus performer, I do not mean that in a positive light. However, sometimes when things get flipped upside down, the shift in perspective can allow you to see the world differently. And I'm going through a shift in perspective now. But before we get too deep into looking to the future, we have to look back. It's reflection time! Sometimes I think back on pictures of myself, like this one from ninth grade orientation week, pit creds to Elabath Repealer, and I think, oh god, I have not changed at all. And though I still wear dark clothes and am perpetually craving a cup of tea, I have grown as a person over these past four years. I entered NMH as an anxious, emotionally suppressed 14-year-old. I listened to today's top hits, I couldn't really dance, and I didn't have a strong algebra foundation. Four years later, my music taste shifted to punk bands. It's not a phase, mom. I choreographed for three terms of dance company, and I doubled up on math. I am more aware of my own emotional and personal health, and I am so grateful to all of my teachers and peers who have helped me reach this point. I look at you, my classmates, and see not only that I have changed, but that each of you has found immense personal growth over the past four years as well. Looking back on my time at NMH, I am flooded with memories that helped transform me over the years. That feeling of waiting in the dining hall on a Wednesday and watching the person in front of you take the last slice of pizza as they load up their plate with four slices. Breaking out into a cold sweat as I run from the library to McKinnon because I didn't know it was Hog Olympics. Check your emails, kids. Drinking coffee and bonding with a new friend over our shared love of Avatar The Last Airbender. Thank you, NMH, for teaching me patience, for teaching me to accept unexpected changes, and for providing me with a group of thoughtful and kind friends and peers. Thank you to the dining staff, who refilled the caffeination station and never passed judgment when they saw me there a minimum of three times per day. To the students who I disagreed with in class for making our discussions more engaging. And to the students who I agreed with but who offered me new perspectives on topics that I was less knowledgeable about. To my parents for being the two closest people to perfection on this earth. Aww. To Gretel, Taylor, and the members of Dance Company, who I am so honored to have performed and choreographed alongside. To all of the NMH faculty, staff, and students who have helped shape the past four years of my life and helped me grow as an individual even as my wardrobe has remained the same. We, the class of 2020, are a unique subset of a generation already going through unprecedented times. 
I'm not a spiritual person and I don't really believe in fate or the idea that everything happens for a reason. However, I do believe in making the best out of the circumstances you are given. I encourage you to use this moment as an opportunity to reflect on the past and the future. So back to this fall, when the thought of my future was very bleak, I said to myself, okay, you need to find some kind of purpose. And to me, purpose means helping other people. I was so inspired by the lyrics of the bands that I was listening to that I thought, maybe I could channel these emotions and thoughts that I'm having into some creative medium that's not going to be self-destructive and could eventually provide hope to other people who might be experiencing the same things. So I started writing music. Songwriting gave me a reason to get up in the morning, and giving myself a project like that was probably one of the healthiest choices I have ever made. And I encourage you to do the same. Seniors especially. I encourage you to look at where you've been and where you're going and think, what do I want to keep the same and what do I want to change? We can all contribute to society in a meaningful way, and it doesn't have to be based on your grades and it doesn't have to be based on your GPA. What matters is that you're passionate about however you choose to make a change and that you act from an authentic place of good intentions. High school isn't about finding the answers, it's about trying to discover who you are. And maybe we don't know who we are yet. I definitely don't, but at least we're searching. And we'll continue to search through college and beyond, trying to find our path in this insane labyrinth of a world. And even if we feel like we never truly find ourselves, I hope that we can live in that uncertainty. I look forward to seeing the futures that you all craft for yourselves. Thank you. So yeah, that was my speech. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to hear more of what I have to say or what's going on up in this dome, then I hope you will hit the subscribe button, ding the little bell so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. Um, and I hope to see you all in the future. Bye.